In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your WhatsApp chats, WhatsApp business chats, WeChat chats, Viber chats, Kick chats, as well as Line chats, all from your Android to your newly purchased iPhone. This method might be the cheapest method available all throughout the internet. If you don't agree to that, let me know in the comment section below. Also make sure you are watching till the end of this video because there I'm going to give you a special coupon that's going to make your purchase even more cheap. And with that, let's start the video. So before we begin, let me quickly show you the state of my WhatsApp business. So there are only two chats since I don't really have a business account. I have to make specifically this account for the purpose of this video. Here you can see there are some chats along with some APK file that's a media along with some links. But in here you can see so many messages. I joined myself in this group thinking it would automatically push messages. And this way I can transfer all these messages to my iOS device. But these all devices are to be transferred in there. So the first step that you need to do is connect this Android phone where you have your WhatsApp business logged in to your PC using a data cable. Make sure you're using an authentic data cable because at times with these non-generic USB cables, you have issues reading your phone. Once you have launched the tool, you will be asked, please select the social app. And in here you have WhatsApp, WhatsApp business, Line, Cake, Viber and WeChat. Since I'm going to transfer WhatsApp business in this video, I'm going to click on WhatsApp business. But if it was WhatsApp for you or like any other application, you have to click that specific application. And once you have that, there is one method where you can directly transfer by plugging both the devices in. But I like to do it the safer way where I'm going to first create a backup. And in this backup option, select the device that you have plugged into your PC. Make sure you have unlocked your phone, Android phone, at least once when you plug it in so that it's recognized and click on backup now. Once you click that, it's going to show you what you need to do to be able to back up. Click on these three, go to settings and under chats, go to chats backup and make sure this Google Drive is selected to never. Once this is true, click on backup once and it's going to back up all the messages now. So this backup that you are doing right now, it's stored on your device, on your phone. And this is the same backup that's going to be pulled up on the application. You can go ahead and scroll this to see how to proceed. It's mentioning the same thing as I said. And once you see that the local time matches the current backup that you made, click on continue and it's going to read all those messages. So right now it's showing that I have around 102 messages. Now here you need to verify the phone number with which your chats are associated with. It's a security measure so that no one can steal each other's chat using this tool. And once you do that, you're going to be proceeding further. So let me quickly verify this. A few moments later. Once you have verified your backup, it's going to say that you have backed up the messages successfully, depending upon how many messages you have. If there are very lot messages, then that would mean that you have to wait a bit more time. Be patient. But after that is done, you will see that your messages are successfully backed up. You can click on view backup and see all those chats and messages as well, along with all the media files that are present. So you can cross verify this from here. Now, once this is done, you're good to go. Now for the next step, what you need to do is make sure you have your iPhone and download WhatsApp business. WhatsApp business. Once you have done this, click on download and make sure you are logged into WhatsApp business on this iPhone via the same number that you want the chat to be transferred from. Not now, click on OK. And now in here, you can see that you have successfully logged into WhatsApp business on your iPhone. And in here, there are no chats available. Don't freak out because this is what we need. Once you have logged in, bring your lightning to USB-C connector or like lightning to USB-A if you don't have USB-C on your PC and connect it. Now, once you have done this, there's one more step that you need to do is go to your iPhone, go to your settings and turn off your Find My iPhone. Now this step is required to restore anything on your iPhone. If you're restoring your backup from iTunes, if you're restoring any application, as long as find my iPhone is turned on, you won't be able to do it. So make sure you have turned that off. Once this is off, you can come back to the tool and click on this option called view and restore. Once you click this, it's going to show you the backup that you have added. You can cross verify with the time and the date as well as the file size and on the bottom, you have the option to restore to Android or restore to iOS. Click on iOS and in here you can select the device that you have right now. Click on restore now and it's going to say WhatsApp business data on 
my iPhone will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on continue. Now this will make sure that whatever is already present on your iPhone's WhatsApp business will be overwritten by the new data that you have just backed up. So if in case you already have some chats, click on backup and make sure you have backed that up before restoring else there's a big chance that those chats will go away and the new chats that you just backed up from your Android comes to your iPhone. Now it says that log into your WhatsApp business to the target device. Since I have already logged in, I'm going to click on logged in. And now it's going to say restoring data to the device. Once it hits 100%, it will give you restore successful. And with that, you'll be able to see that your iPhone would restart automatically. It should restart automatically because this is required to restore anything in your iPhone. Now this step is really important for an iPhone because this is how actually a restore works for iPhone if you are aware of that. Now if you scroll here, you'll be able to see WhatsApp business already here. If I click on it, it's going to give me a notification of like optimizing because that's going to happen only first time, I think. But from then on, if you click here, you'll be able to see all the chats that I had backed up back then. And not even that, along with this contact where I had this APK file is present and these links are also present along with the messages. And with that, you have all your WhatsApp business chats transferred successfully from your Android to your iPhone. Now this method works the exact same way with a normal WhatsApp, a line, Viper, Kick, as well as WeChat. You can transfer every single thing using this software. And the good thing is one license that you buy from here, you can successfully restore five different devices. So for me right now, this is my first device. I can restore four other iPhones with this. And if you're spending less than $20 on a tool like this, you can be sure that five devices, $20 is like around $4 per device. That's really sweet. Go team up with your friends, find people who really want to transfer this, share the license, and that is the cheapest way of transferring this. For all the users who are concerned about the security and safety of their chats, I'm going to assure you that I have tested this tool all throughout my best knowledge and I've seen that everything that happens stays in your local machine and this tool does not push anything out to the servers of somewhere else. So you are very much secure in that aspect. Just wanted to share that information so that probably it would make you feel a bit more safe. Now there are some couple of things that I think you should know. First of all, this video might be sponsored by them, but whatever I am speaking here does not mean it's false. Each and every word that is coming out of my mouth, I am standing by it. So this tool is the safest as well as the cheapest probably method that's available on the internet. If not, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of it. Second of all, if you are buying a license from them, make sure you cancel the subscription next month, next year, depending upon if it is not required by you because it's an auto renewal license. So it's going to renew itself by the term it crosses its expiry date. Third of all, if in case this method does not help out for you, like does not work for you, you have a dedicated customer care who's going to help you fix it and make sure that it works. If in case at the end of it doesn't work by some reason, you will get your complete money back. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video. If you liked it, press that like. If you learned something new, press that like. And if you didn't really like this video, click on this like that's right there for you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click on subscribe and I'll be catching you guys next week with another interesting video. Until then, take care.